There's a website where this problem is described as one of the hardest AP calculus problems out there. But if you know your facts well, it's actually one of the easiest. We're given the graph of a piecewise defined function f that you see right here. The graph has a vertical tangent line at x equals negative 2 and a horizontal tangent line at x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 1. So right here at negative 2, there is a vertical tangent line. That does not contradict the vertical line test. Every vertical line passes through this graph at most once in spite of the fact that there's a vertical tangent line there. Horizontal tangent lines again at x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 1. The question is, what are all the values of x strictly between negative 4 and 3, so we're not looking at the endpoints, at which f is continuous but not, not differentiable? Continuity means you can draw the graph without picking up your writing utensil. The one place where you have to pick up your writing utensil is right here. You have a jump discontinuity from a y value close to 1 to a y value of 2 at x equals 0. So x equals 0 cannot be one of the answers. The answer either has to be choice A or choice C. Where do we have lack of differentiability? Differentiability means the derivative exists, which means the tangent line exists and has a slope that's not infinite. That's going to mean negative 2 is a spot where the function fails to be differentiable. Where does it not have a tangent line? That includes x equals 0, where there's a lack of continuity. However, we were looking for places where the function is continuous. The only other spot where we have continuity but not differentiability is where we have a corner in the graph. At x equals 1, there is a corner. There is no tangent line there at x equals 1. Therefore, the answer is C. x equals negative 2 and x equals 1 are places where this function is continuous but not differentiable.